Hey guys, in this video I'll be going over this WE High Kappa 5.1 Hyper Strike. So, for starters, I just want to let you guys know that I've owned this thing for about six years. I paid originally 88 bucks for it in 2014. During that time, this handgun has gone through a lot. And I'll tell you this right now, that it's very reliable. It's never failed me. It's always shot every round of its magazine with gas to spare. Another thing, it shot accurate out of the box. And ever since I've owned it, the only thing I've had to upgrade in it was uh, a Reap's hop-up hop bucking, excuse me. Anyway, <clears throat> so, if you notice here, it, uh, the Hyper Strike has this, what's called a, a the meat beater, as I would call it. And I took it off. And the reason why is because when this thing is on, you can't take the slide off. And with it off, it, it's pretty easy to get the slide off so you can do your hop-up adjustment. So, you want to take out the magazine. So, to get to the hop-up on, on this uh, WE, bring it back just slightly until till that uh, little notch right there lines up with your uh, the slide holder. Pop it out, pull it up straight out. So, right here is where the hop up adjustment is. You know, turn it, it's a little dial, you turn it towards the back of the handgun and it adjusts your hop up up, vice versa. And that's how you get to it. Uh, make your adjustment, throw the slide on. So you can see why I took that piece off. So anyway, let me go ahead and put the pin back in. Very simple to get to. Once this sucker, this sucker's off. If you want the railing system on there uh, to take the slide on and off, the easiest way I can find is uh, so all you gotta do take that screw out and these two up front. And this front piece comes right off like that. So then that will allow you to uh, pull the slide off of the handgun. So and then once you got your hop where you like it, then you just assemble it back together and then off you go. But the six years of on and off of using this thing and it's got its wear and tear. It holds 30 rounds in the magazine plus one. Uh, the magazine themselves over the span of six years, I haven't really had any issues with them. The only real issue that I had is that uh, um, screw on the bottom here. So this is a screw down here, right in there. It was loose, and which caused the magazine to leak at the bottom, right around here where there's a seal. And that was it. Once I tightened that up, it quit leaking. So, still don't have any issues as far as that goes. So it's got, just like a 911, 1911, it's got a couple f safety features to keep you from firing. So you got your grip, and then your uh, normal safety that holds the slide in place. Having this thing for six years, one of the things that happened to this was uh, the safety switch fell off and I just left it off because I got tired of it coming back off over and over and over again so I said screw it and I just left it off hasn't hindered the the ability of its safety I didn't even use that side anyway because I shoot right handed so I just when I draw it I just put my thumb down like that and then when I'm not using it I just push it back up it's got some resistance onto it the grip safety does work so if I pull this that safety back or the hammer back I can't pull the trigger but if I grip the handle and pull the trigger then it works so on this WE it works really well along with this safety it holds itself up pretty well you gotta give it a little bit of effort to take it off safety beautiful trigger love the trigger in this thing shoots very straight. I like using 0.28 gram BBs with it or even 0.3s for that matter because it shoots so accurate. You do have a little bit of adjustment for your sighting on the top here on the side 
So you can do your side to side and up and uh, up and down sight sights on this thing. So you can get it spot on. I got mine adjusted to where it's spot on. So when I aim down these sights, it shoots really well and straight. And so I like to play uh, Trouble in Terrorist Town with my buddies all the time. And I always know this thing is going to shoot accurate every time. Another thing that happened to this gun that's uh, after a long time of owning it, the trademarks that were here and here that labeled it as a high cap on and whatnot, they just fell off. I, I didn't even notice it. I think they fell off out, out in the field. So, hand grip is plastic, grip safety is metal, trigger is metal, the trigger guard is all metal. Same with the, the entire slide, so you can't beat that, man. I mean, it's, it's such a great airsoft gun. It, it's never failed me. It's so gratifying to have like an airsoft gun that I've had for so long and it's just it still shoots really well. So here in a little bit we're gonna I'm gonna show you guys its FPS rating with green gas after it sitting and being used on and off for six years. Alright. Thirty plus one point two gram BBs with green gas. That's it. Every round shot. Just to show the, the truth behind it. As you can see, it died off at the end of the rounds because the magazine was about out, so <laughs> out of gas. So there you go. Okay, uh, that sounds about everything. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.